Hey guys. Why did that sound like I was so excited there? Hey guys, Strum Vogs here. Welcome back to another video. I've just had news that I could drive a double decker bus on private land. Which is fantastic. I'm trying not to be excited and I don't know why I keep putting great big pauses, but probably because of this. If I talk fast like I am now, then I can't. I can't basically do that. Like, I'm going to yawn. <sighs> also, it's just come into account and it's coming to account, whatever, no, it's coming to something now that every Thursday at 8 o'clock we'll be doing the clapping for the NHS during this coronavirus crap. That's fair enough. That's good to show the NHS that they're wanted and needed and that everybody has respect for them. There's a lot going on, you know, free food and free drinks to the NHS workers. They're allowed into shops hours earlier. It's pretty good. It's helpful. But yeah, all things... Oh my god, right, Jesus. Oh. All things being well, I'll be going down to Dunfermline to drive a double-decker bus on private land. Followed by... another double-decker... Wait, no, we get a bus from here down to Dunfermline, get a double-decker, I can drive it, then we're camping on the bus for the weekend. No, they run buses to and from the... Oh, okay, right. I am not understand this at all. Wait a minute. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Right, I get confused far too easily, and I know I just said that three times, but... Oh. No, I just tried to figure out what is really going on. <coughs> where the bus is going to be, where we are going to be, where we are going to stay, blah, 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 blah. But I think it's figured out. I need to buy an air mattress, uh, an air mattress pump, a big battery pack to last me the weekend, and probably... <coughs> a decent sized backpack or in fact what are they called that you steal money in what do you call them uh, duffel bags I fell out with Andrew and I'm not annoyed about that but I am Andrew stopped speaking to me most days Time to change the world's loudest clock. It is 101. Ah. So the story is, ever since his lockdowns happened, Andrew's away and stayed with his mum at her new house, and he's been enjoying going out every day, going on walks, seeing horses, going to the beach that they have. Well, beach is not much of one, it's a bit of river and a bit of sand. I suppose that has to qualify as a beach, though, technically. Uh, and he's been enjoying that and the past few days he's been doing really well at that and I'm proud of him still am so he comes on to Messenger today and he texts me a thumbs up or something and I was like oh hi how are you thinking he'd just been up or something you know just gotten up no he's been up all day he's been up in the morning he's managed to get his days back into days and nights back to nights well done but I've just fallen out with him. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm doing that. That's why I went, oh, fallen. But yeah, I've fallen out with him because he's just not speaking to me at all any day. He records his videos, goes home and speaks to, well, two people that I shouldn't mention their name of. One used to be my best friend and now it isn't, and the other one's their boyfriend. And so the story goes, he's just been speaking to them non-stop. There you go. I had to blow a bit of dust off my screen there, non-stop, and to his girlfriend as well. His girlfriend I can understand, but being his best mate, he's gone from speaking to me every day, playing games with me and that, to just not speaking to me. That's made a big dent in what I have to do every day and who to speak to. At a bit of a loss there. So I just thought, well, you don't speak to me much anyway. But I put, you know that that person won't speak to me. You know, eh, uh, what was it? You know that that person won't speak to me something. What was it? I also added, you've not even spoken to me all day, so I know where I stand. Which is absolutely fair. But he put, you can't even stand. Remember your work experience proved that. I was like, oh, fuck you. So I put, mate, you can't even get up in the morning. So don't you even start. So, Because the first thing you do when you get up is stand up. So you can't even get up. Either way, if you're going to hit me right when in the fields where it hurts, because I did a work experience and that really cracked me up after that, I felt so bad about not being able to complete it, I'll make you feel bad about something too. Simple as that. 
right where it hurts. I'm not an evil person, but if you fire something at me, I'm not going to let it hit me. I'm going to fire back. Especially when it's not like we've had a good day to start with. It's not as if we've spoken to start with. But he's uploaded YouTube videos, which is good. I'm glad he's got that on his channel. He's not letting it grow webs. He's continuing to do content. Even more wider content than he usually does. But he's also just stopped speaking to me. So maybe this is time for him to move on. Maybe he will. All I know is I've got stuff to do. I've got videos to be watching, I've got GTA to be playing tomorrow, and I've got a double-decker bus to drive in, what, uh, five months. So I'll wrap up today's video with a bit of Milo content, when he's, you know, done licking himself. Oh my god, he's literally, trying to rec he's literally trying to lick his leg, but he's failing epically, and instead he's licking my duvet cover. Doggy, what are you doing? Oh, right. Alright, this is going to be after uh, whatever. It's going to have to be our Milo content for the video. He's just not looking at me. Milo. Milo. Hello? Milo? Do you exist? <laughs> Anybody in there? No, okay. I'll leave him to his cleaning. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Turn on notification bell if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.